Hey Virgo, welcome back, welcome back. I'm going to do your, wow, next 30 days reading. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. I am running a special till the end of October, so go ahead and take advantage of that for personal readings. All right, so let's get into your reading and see what messages you have showing up here. All right, another karmic relationship issue. Resentments and triggers, perception, letting go of an intense relationship. Okay. Hmm. You also have love, unconditional. Oh, okay. Listen, some of you are letting go of a karmic because the real deal is showing up here. Let's see. And for others, there is this, and I think yesterday you had somebody new coming in. But this is also self-love. Letting go of a karmic. So you can have that self-love. I feel like, um, yeah, this is en ending something with someone to get whole or to be or experiencing wholeness again, okay? Um, being a little selfish <laughs> in some ways. Let's see. Yeah, and this karmic is missing you. Looking at your pictures, being nostalgic. Nost I keep saying, I always say nostalgic. Like, what is that? That's not even a word. Nostalgic, addicted to you. All right, tough, tough relationship here. Codependency. Some of you are getting rid of that codependency. You got paradise here. So there may have been some kind of connection with someone that felt like paradise, but it was actually a very not a healthy relationship or it turned it started off that health like paradise that feeling of like wow happiness joy everything's great that honeymoon phase and then turned into somebody had an addiction or something there's some kind of issue here virgo where i feel like you're just you're not you're not dealing with like you're done with the relationship here cutting it out separated stopping the pattern maybe some kind of silent treatment and this person is you know they're still being karmic they're still acting the way they're acting they're still being the way they're being you're gonna find out that whoever you walk it away from maybe you already have <clears throat> whoever you're walking away from within this time period um this person you're gonna find out that they are missing you somehow Maybe they'll communicate with you or tell you, but look, they're watching. Oh, you can't really see that. Sorry. Sunglasses. Watching, looking, perception, stalking. You're going to find out. Somebody's watching you. They're stalking you. Yeah, there's the engagement ring. I feel like this is a repeat of the video that I made members only. So if you missed that, you're not going to be able to see that. I guess you're going to get it here. Okay, this is a runner. Yeah, so the runner in a karmic relationship is going to be running now after you. Okay, as you let go. So you have intensity and letting go. But you also have intensity and letting go here, which is the karmic. Fear of intimacy, running away, turmoil, and fleeting. Very, a lot of triggers with this relationship. And this person, oh, karmic twin for some of you. Yeah, for sure. Somebody thought this was like a, a serious, like their person, but it was a trick. I'm hearing it was a trick. It, it, it was made to feel like this was going to be the person but it was a trick. It was a karmic. You're ascending. So this is good, Virgo. I feel like you're I feel like you're moving away from this, but they're not. They're not moving away from you. Okay? So you're going to find out. You might get some kind of communication, something about wanting to commit, higher commitment. Let me see. Okay. Somebody having some kind of like spiritual um, awakening, um, doing some deep reflection here, self, deep self-reflection. Mm -hmm. Wow, Virgo, okay. Is your karmic twin actually getting healthy? Yeah, there's going to be communication. 
Cupid's arrows. A lot of communication from this person. Could be another Virgo or a Pisces. A lot of communication coming up the next 30 days about something that ended. This person's defeated and they're surrendering. I feel like this person might be actually taking a look at themselves. So, you know, karmic relationship. I feel like this person has the ability to self-reflect. And that's what they're doing. Facing, facing, facing themselves and changing. There's change here, making some kind of transition. I feel like you've got somebody here where this relationship was very triggering. There might have been an addiction involved. Or there is addiction involved. And if you're leaving this relationship, I feel like this is going to put somebody, whoever your person is, if you're leaving this relationship, is going to put them in a position to have to um, figure out what happened and do some self-reflection on their end, which is good. Yeah, I feel like they want to be with you long term. They may have put high expectations on you, but this person, <clears throat> they're coming in with this commitment for sure. So I've, I, what I feel like the message here is that you are leaving someone. You've had it. You're done. You're ascending. You're doing better in your life. Or you, you know, you're going to be doing better in your life. You're carving new paths out for yourself. And you have <coughs> whoever this karmic is karmic person is um this is like an absence is making the heart grow fonder and making this person it could be a taurus uh taurus virgo capricorn um it's causing this person to look at themselves in the mirror actually whatever their sign is it doesn't matter you see how he's holding that pentacle there that's good it's very reflective it's almost like he's holding a mirror up to themselves to look at themselves self-reflection for sure let's see what is the energy this person why is they why is this person like i mean obviously oh okay they're this person is trying to better themselves yep they're struggling they're really doing the work to improve their who they are to be a better they're giving me that um, <laughs> that Pearl Jam song, "Better Man" or "Better Woman." They're they're working to improve themselves, but why? Okay. Well, they have a lot of grief and regret, and they're trying to get away from that. They don't want to be in grief. They don't want to be sad. They, this person feels very sad, and they don't want to be in this sad position or feel any regret. They're they're coming for you, Virgo. They're coming for you. Okay. And they're going to fight. They're going to fight. Whatever the conflict is. If they have to fight your friends, your sisters, to get through, they're going to. And they're also going to fight if you have attention from others. Compete. Okay. Yeah. They want to be the sun in your solar system, Virgo. They want to be the sun in your solar system, not just a planet. They want to be it. Maybe it's a Leo. They want to be number one and the only one. Okay. Yeah, they're ready to fight. They want to fight for this, Virgo. And they're not going to let go. Baseball. They're telling me baseball. And they're also telling me um, a cat. Again, Leo energy. Holding on tight. Very possessive energy. This person hasn't let you go. This is what I feel here with the Four of Pentacles. They're still holding on. They're not, they haven't gone anywhere. They don't even have their arms open to receive anybody. There's no one, even if they're talking to anybody, that's, they're, they're really not, you know, there's just not really that interest. The interest lies with you. Yeah, look at that. You're coming across as the empress. You are the most attractive. You are the most abundant, most nurturing. Maybe you're a mother or a parent or you're with child. Yep, they're going to cross that cross those waters for you expansion you might be at a distance to this person libra and energy for some oh gosh can't hold my cards today wow virgo yeah so you got a runner who's running towards you they were running one way now they're running the other 
This relationship might have been strictly, strictly sexual at one point. And maybe that's why you left, because there was like nothing else going on. Well, hmm. Leaving is... And that does cause people to sink. It doesn't mean... I mean, I feel like if you, if you let... I feel like if you leave because you just just need to straighten yourself out that's great um if you're leaving because you're purposely trying to cause that like manipulation i mean whatever it happens you do whatever you need to do but it still kind of has the same effect or at least it's having this effect where this person's longing for you they're missing you i feel like oh there was a spiritual lesson being learned here this person learned a, a very deep spiritual lesson from you. And they're learning now that you're not available. Oh, let's see if we can catch some light somewhere. They're learning now that you're um, unavailable to them. And also that they were unavailable to you. I feel like they kept you in the dark. Or they were trying to be better. Or play some kind of role. Or play some kind of part in life. And they were trying to, but they were leaving you out in the dark. They were, you weren't really a part of what their, what their life, what their life is or was at the time. There was a separation. Yep. This time apart. Looks like Virgo, you took some time apart for yourself so you could get some clarity in regards to this relationship and to heal. Maybe you're in denial. And detaching with love to clearly see the truth. Let's get a little more light because what the hell. That's better. Um, detaching with love to clearly see the truth here. Healing. Yeah, Virgo, it looks to me like you, you're trying to get into an abundant state here for yourself. And you're, and that's good, right? Because it looks like you had some trouble with, with someone here. And it feels mostly like the person was running away and they weren't, you know, they weren't making you, a priority or even just like i don't know there feels like an energy of kind of leaving you out in the dark in some ways like not being fully present to the relationship or not being fully participating in the relationship so kind of in a sense where i feel like you left or you, if you have already or you are leaving you might still be with this person and it's like what the hell's going on why does this person keep running away why are they not opening up fully? Okay. Yeah, camera. Same thing again. Pictures, camera. Learning from the past. I feel like this person is really doing a lot of reflection. And you know when I do my readings, I don't usually... I'm always seeing some kind of narc bull she happening. Um, and I, we're usually seeing people who don't have the ability to reflect, but this person seems like they are reflecting on how they were, didn't want to deal with things in a relationship. Um, very sensitive, avoiding conversation, phone calls, you, boundary got set. They were angry. I don't think they're angry anymore. There, there's the chaser. Now they're chasing you. This person has a fear of abandonment from you. It just feels like with you. Um, I don't know if they th maybe think that you're going to be back or you're going to be returning. They think like you're, you guys are like soulmates. So yeah, you'll be back. Right? Sunglasses again. Watching, looking, stalking, looking to see if you're coming back. Seduction. Wow. They're very attracted to you, Virgo. There's photograph. I'm telling you. This person's looking at you. And they're watching your photos. They're really missing you. Like, <laughs> big time. Hmm, okay. And you're, yeah, there's separation. Some of you are just like, no, I'm spending time with my girls. Or my guys. You know, you're just like, I don't know, Virgo. If this hasn't happened yet, it's happening. There's some kind of separation. It's not like, I mean, it could be a breakup. But this separation, this person missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. 
They don't know what's going to happen. I feel like this person doesn't really know now if you're going to be returning. And that's causing them. There might have been some issue with someone wearing a mask or not showing their true feelings, pretending. I feel like, and there's a runner, runner chaser energy. I feel like this person um, is not sure if you're going to be back. Look, watching the clock go by. How many hours has it been since you talked to them? How many clocks? <laughs> How many days? Since you've talked to them. Are you dating somebody else? They have a lot. Oh, They don't know what to think. They don't know what to think. And it's causing them to like. Kind of think about. The breakup. If you do do this. This is the prediction. That I feel like is. Going to be playing out here. Stabbed in the dark. Separation again. Hmm. Somebody felt stabbed in the back. Stabbed in the dark, I said. Somebody felt stabbed in the back and heartbroken by something. And then there was a cutoff. There's paradise again. I'm telling you. This person wants to get back to paradise with you. Palm tree. Stability. Secure the relationship. Hmm. Okay, Virgo. I dropped a card. Yeah, I can't pick that up. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. What other messages does Virgo have? Other messages for Virgo. There's there's that damn engagement ring again, Virgo. I'm telling you. There's something... <sighs> I feel like this person's going to propose or come in with this, this energy. Now, it does kind of feel like um, Sunday's reading, but not as harsh. <laughs> I feel like Sunday's reading was a little harsh, but it, it feels like it's the same story. So maybe I should just take a couple days off and see if the energy changes and come back because it feels like the same story. Serious relationship, partnership. Ooh, Ice King. Hmm. There's, um, there's a detachment right now. Somebody's being the Ice King or the Ice Queen. This person comes across to me as shy. They are in this energy. They're coming across as like shy and withholding. A little like like wallflower. Like not feeling worthy or good enough. Hmm. And Virgo's like, I'm the dating queen. Dating king. I mean, maybe you're not. But I don't know, Virgo. Looks like you're... Um, their roller coaster's going down and yours is going up. You're both not... There's a there's an off a cycle here. You're on like you're on the good cycle going into the next thirty days. You're on a good cycle going up, lifting up, raising up. And this person's going on the down cycle. Could be an air sign. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Yeah, look. Freedom. That's Aquarius energy. Casual being single. I feel like you're good. Or you're going to be good. Feeling light. No problems. Feeling happy. Free. This person's not happy about it. They think maybe you might be having casual relationships with others. You're not going to commit to them or be with them anymore. <coughs> they think you might have found, for the men, I want to say, a young female that you're hanging out with. Someone younger. Having fun. A lot of threats there. Maybe a friend. Or you're just hanging out with your friends. This person, I don't feel like they... <laughs> it's, it's like the energy of like you're just, you know, moving on with life. It looks like, it's very simple. It just looks like you're moving on with life. Because something didn't work out. And um, maybe they agreed. Maybe they were like, okay, yeah, no, I know. It's been a long time. It's fine. We'll just go our separate ways. But guess what? Um, it looks like they're changing their mind. To some degree. Yeah, true gem. Oh, now they got value on you. Now they're putting some value on you. Because you didn't chase. Did you not chase? Or maybe you won't chase. Ice queen. Oh, okay. So they were the ice king. Now you could reverse king or queen. And now you're the ice queen. So what? It's almost like um, taste of their own medicine. But it, it doesn't feel like you're doing it on purpose. 
it just feels like you've iced they iced you out see what i mean like the the scales were not balanced they were icing you out so now you're icing them out i don't feel like either one of you were trying to hurt each other like deliberately i just feel like off you weren't in alignment and you're still not in alignment because i see this person trying to get in alignment and you're not getting in alignment with them if anything, you might just be like, well, maybe we can date, but I'm dating others. I don't feel like you're giving yourself over to this person. Yeah, you're not relinquishing control. You're taking back your power here. And this person's in a little bit of a controlling kind of thing. Maybe it's a mature male that you're dealing with. Or that's you, mature in age. It's like, not for the games. Too old for this shit. <laughs> Masculine or feminine. Yeah, let me just focus on my money. You got wealth, luck, finances, good money coming in. So you'll be fine there. Yep, it related to work. Maybe a new profession or a job. You got, like, it's like, don't worry, I'm hearing. They're saying, don't worry. Money's coming in. It'll come in. It's just going to come in. Somehow, some way, it's just going to come in. Money ebbs, Money's like an ebb and flow. It's never ours to keep. It's a transaction. Money is exchange. Mature woman, socialite, connector, high society. Hmm. Is that you? Or the person that you, you're dealing with here? Somebody's got fair skin. Uh, or fair colored eyes. Yeah, past love. Or fair colored hair. Oh, this person's like in love with you. They are totally in love with you. Okay, one more. Yeah, it's a long distance relationship. Or it will be. Somebody might be moving or relocating. All right, anything from the cosmic insights here for Virgo? Okay, someone's expecting. <laughs> There's a pregnancy. Could be you, could be someone around you. Um there's something new definitely a new beginning happening here in the next 30 days uh, for some of you it's with a water sign cancer scorpio pisces somebody was water breaks i just heard that got a honeymoon phase all right so like i feel like um this person is trying to you know yeah they're reflecting and stuff okay yeah that's definitely there but i do feel also they want to get that honeymoon phase back in this connection because, I mean, who doesn't love a honeymoon? <laughs> it's the best part. Fire sign. Aries Leo Sag. That you have a divorce or you're divorced or you're breaking up with. Who doesn't love a, a, a good honeymoon? Wouldn't it be great if they could last forever and ever? Luck is on your side, Virgo. If you see a ladybug, this is your message. Especially with an earth sign. But this is also for you. Luck is on your side with a Taurus, another Virgo, or a Capricorn. But it's also for you. Mostly for you. All right. Mercury retrograde. There was some kind of issue that happened. Maybe a breakup or something happened in, during a Mercury retrograde, the last one. It was profound. Yeah, there was a letting go during the retrograde. Sometime at the end of August. It was either you and this person or them and somebody else. A, a breakup in like August. Right now, it's not the right time for you with an air sign. I feel like all the signs are showing up. Focus on your health, Virgo, right now. <laughs> Be committed to your health. I want to give you that. Things are getting serious commitment rings, but we already saw that, at least on that person's end. But be committed to your health, I'm hearing. Focus on your health. OK. You do have narcissists here. Oh, no, no, they're saying be narcissistic. Ice queen, ice king. You got to be a narc, Virgo. <laughs> so no, obviously you can't just be a narcissist. But this is more like you got to be all full of yourself. This is what I'm hearing. Be all about you. All right, now, it's most important that you put yourself first, that you be selfish. Um, because I, And the only reason I say that um, is because I don't think that that's the way to really be in life. But I feel like... If you're very codependent or a people pleaser or giving to the point where 
you never give to yourself and you don't say enough for yourself or you don't say no or you just you're very insecure i think it's to be selfish means to get yourself back to baseline you can be a little bit selfish like it's okay to say no if you don't want to do something or if you don't want to whatever you're allowed to say no and this is only specifically for those virgos who have a hard time with that okay virgo you're going to be traveling soon one more yeah traveling or moving Okay, either on vacation or relocating. <clears throat> I do feel like this person um, is going to be traveling to see you, maybe on a vacation, but also there's going to be a conversation about moving in together. All right, let's see what the Chinese signs are. Chinese signs for Virgo and their person. All right, year of the dog, year of the horse. Tiger, monkey, rooster, snake, ox, and the rat. All right, Virgo. Okay, you have a Gemini, Sagittarius, Taurus, and another Virgo. Very significant signs. We also have September 5th, 1967, 85, 59, 44, 54, and 80. Also 47. September 8th. Oh, July always shows up. Something significant happened in July, and this is connected to July. All right, I just want to tell you that. September 19th and 59. Okay. September 17th. Oh, let's see. <clears throat> uh, somebody's in Puerto Rico. I just heard. Okay. Cutter. Somebody's name is Cutter. Nucio. Or Nocio. Or no Nocia. Okay. Tuck or Tucker. Somebody's name is Tuck. First, last name, Tucker. Okay. Letter A. Letter Y. We have an O. Letter N. We have an I, a C, a U, and a T. All right, Virgo. I was just trying to make your video 30 minutes. I'm like super tired today, you guys. I don't know why. All right, let's see. So you do have an angel. Okay, it says angels. I can never read these. Angels watching over me. All right, that's pretty. Virgo, you have an angel watching over you. You also have a tree. So a tree is very significant to someone. Let's see, let me get these so you can see it. There's a tree. I know you can't see this, but it's very significant. There's a carved out, maybe the Kabbalah tree of life. Very significant. You have a lion here. So I'm getting some Leo vibes here. Maybe you're on the cusp of leo virgo you also have an apple somebody's um having a fruit salad <laughs> apple and watermelon or a fruity drink okay anything else you got the skull and crossbones again something significant will be happening at halloween you might hear from this person also a sailboat someone's going sailing or is going to be on a, a ship or traveling maybe just came back man you got a lot of trees Oh, um, also they're telling me like ornament for a tree, Christmas ornament. Somebody's got a tree, Christmas tree, like it's white or it's got like blue, white, ivory, teal colors that they decorate their Christmas tree, <laughs> like a, like a light blue. We also have Tinkerbell. So we have something Disney, maybe you have a Disney tree. Okay, Virgo. So I'm going to leave that there. It was kind of short tonight. Like I said, I'm a little bit sleepy. I went to like... I've just had a very busy day, <coughs> excuse me, a very busy day today, and I had a ton of phone calls, so thanks everybody for um, booking your readings with me, go ahead and grab those readings if you don't mind, um, tomorrow I'm going to upload for the members only, the VIP, your, um, how they feel and what the thoughts of you will be, all right, so look out for that tomorrow, and I will see you guys all back here tomorrow, all right, love you, bye. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to 
You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us Ooh. 